In closing, we've already discussed the automatic battery check, but let's now learn how to change the eight AA batteries. First, unscrew the battery cap at the rear of the detector housing. This should always be done by hand without using any tools. When you change the batteries, their plus and minus markings must be properly aligned. When replacing the battery pack, make certain the contacts on the pack align with the springs inside the housing. Make sure the O-ring is still in place and free from debris. Hand tighten the battery cap until the index mark is aligned as shown. A rechargeable battery pack is also included with this detector. To recharge them, remove the battery pack and connect the charger to the pack, then Plug the charger into an electrical outlet. Also available is a charger that plugs into a car's cigarette lighter outlet. We haven't talked about using the Infinium LS as an underwater detector, but you'll find its operating potential to be outstanding in water depths to 200 feet. Of course, the pulse induction circuitry will overcome the environmental challenge of salt water. And finally, we would stress two points. Always eliminate any electrical or atmospheric interference before proceeding to hunt with your Infinium LS. This can be done easily by using the frequency adjust techniques outlined in this video and in your owner's manual. And you can achieve maximum depth and performance by hunting in the lock ground track position and with zero discrimination. Results from Garrett's field test team indicate that this is possible almost all of the time, even over harsh, highly mineralized ground. Remember that when you hunt with your new Infinium LS, you're using a totally new detector that represents a distinct improvement in the field of treasure hunting. We are confident that this development by Garrett will result in more treasure for you. Good luck.